Prices continued to surge because of the conflict in Ukraine, and just moments ago, Republican members of the state Senate unveiled a new proposal to ease pain at the pump. Good afternoon. I'm Kara Sundland, and Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Roger Susanna is joining us now live in our newsroom with more on this plan. So, Roger, what do they want to do, and just how much money would it actually save? Yeah, good afternoon, Kara. The bottom line is the proposal itself is pretty darn simple. At this point, what Senate Republicans want to do is they want to cut the state's gas tax, and they say that'll save us more than 26 cents a gallon. And no matter what you think of this idea, everyone can agree that gas prices certainly are skyrocketing. We actually just hit a record high here in Connecticut as the statewide average for a gallon of regular is now just under $4.48. That's according to AAA. That's also nearly 60% more than we paid this time last year. The spike is tied in large part to the violence in Ukraine, especially after the U.S. recently banned Russian oil. Senate Republicans say if the state gas tax is suspended, along with the federal gas tax, fuel prices would actually drop by nearly 45 cents a gallon, or about 10 percent overall. The downside, of course, is the suspension would mean less money pouring into state coffers. But Republicans say we can afford it right now because of the state's revenue surplus. Senator Kevin Kelly says temporarily eliminating the state gas tax is the best way to help people quickly. Meanwhile, Governor Ned Lamont said yesterday that the legislature is exploring multiple options. Families need relief at the pump today. They need immediately, immediate relief. They don't need relief next year. They need it now. I'm talking with the legislature about ways we can provide some temporary relief. Uh, some have talked about a gas tax holiday. Some have talked about a rebate. Now Governor Lamont is slated to hold a press conference in less than an hour. We're going to ask him about this proposal and we'll share his latest thoughts with you on Eyewitness News beginning at 4 o'clock. Live in the newsroom, I'm Roger Suzanne, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.